No company is safe. Yeah, that's the word coming from the White House as yet another company is hit with a ransomware attack. Of course, we felt the repercussions of a hack right here in our area. Gas pumps at local stations dried up and stayed that way for days following the hack of Colonial Pipeline. Fox 46's Will Lewis joins us live from the newsroom tonight. And Will, many companies are wondering just what exactly they can do. Yeah, they sure are, Ryan. And unfortunately, according to a former NSA agent, not much. You know, they say that these crimes are easy to commit and there's very little chance of getting caught. Companies need to be on guard because it seems like every day there is a new cyber attack. We're seeing more and more ransomware attacks in industries that are having a real world impact, whether it's colonial pipelines, which led to lots of people on the East Coast and Southeast lining up at gas stations. The attack on the colonial pipeline crippled gas supplies for days. And if you were able to fill up, the price was close to $3 or more. Colonial paid close to $5 million to regain control of their system. Also, the largest meat supplier, JBS Foods, was attacked and caused some operations in the United States and Australia to go down. There's lots of money involved. It's very easy to do. And the reality is there's almost no chance of getting caught. The feds are working on tougher prosecution. The U.S. Department of Justice created a task force to deal with cyber attacks. And many are suggesting companies follow some steps like multi-factor authentication and encrypting data so if stolen, hackers can't use it. It's so often the case that we have to wait to a disaster or a bad outcome before we take action. We've seen that time and again in a number of areas uh, in our country. Now, the FBI traced that attack on JBS back to Russia. President Biden says he will address the issue with Vladimir Putin at their next meeting. Yeah, and that is an issue that keeps on coming up with that particular country. So certainly a hot button issue. Thanks so much, Will.